My plan is for the drum to be my firebox. That's where the I'm going to have a little door in the bottom that I can open, put firewood in there, start a fire. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a hole in the top of here that's the same size as this tank. I'm going to slice off one end of the tank to make a, basically a giant pot. And that's going to be recessed down in there and I'm going to weld around the seam. That way when I put the lead into that tank it's down inside the firebox essentially um, getting heated up from all sides. Yet I can still access the open top of the pot for putting lead in and um, scooping out junk so forth. The rebar since the um, pot is going to be hanging in here probably down to about this level and it's going to be heavy when it's full of lead uh, I wouldn't trust the lid of the barrel to be strong enough to support it so I'm going to put these rebar um, pieces along the bottom rim pointing inwards and weld them to the bottom of the pot as support kind of like that leaning inwards and this hinge here is for the door that I'm going to cut for putting wood in and out. And somewhere I haven't decided where yet, I'm going to cut a hole for a chimney. That's it. And I'm going to get started. First thing I'm going to do is cut all the parts off of this tank that I don't need and slice one end of it off. Now I'm going to trace an outline on the top of the barrel to cut the hole where this is going to be recessed down in. Now I'll cut that out. Going to do a test fit. So now what I need to do is I need to make a hole in the bottom of the melting pot and a hole in the side of the barrel.
So there's what we got so far. What I've done is I've cut one of the pieces of the front fork off of this bicycle. And I'm using it for my, this is going to be the pour spout where the lead comes out. Right now this whole barrel is upside down so I can work on it. But I've cut a hole in the side of it so that the spout can come out. And then in the bottom of the tank I've sliced a hole for the lead to drain out. And I'm going to weld that right on there. What I've got here is I've welded in my three pieces of rebar to support the weight of the container. And I bent each one. I just stuck it in a vise and bent it with a breaker bar. And welded it to the bottom of the container. That's where I welded that piece of bicycle fork. That's going to be my lead output, my drain spout and everything's been welded together so now I need to cut a door to put wood in through and flip it over and weld the top so now I've cut the door for where the wood is going to go in uh, I've cut most around most of it here but I didn't cut the corners so that it'll stay in there because I'm going to weld a hinge right there um, the door is going to fold up and then I'm going to weld this piece of metal right there to the door so that the door doesn't swing too far closed and go in and it's got some little holes in it so I can rig things up if I need to um, do things to hold the door open or other things later. I've got these parts welded in place and the hinge and the little latch thing so now I'm going to finish cutting the corners of the door. Alright, there's my door. Gravity should help hold it down. Now I'm going to flip the unit back up and uh, start welding the top. I've welded completely around the seam here, sealing it up. And now I've got my chimney pipe that I've cut a hole for here. So now I'm going to weld that in place. Okay, I've got my chimney pipe welded into place. I never claimed to be a great welder, but I think I got everything sealed up pretty good. Now, the last thing I need to do is make a valve for this output here. What I've done is I took a large bolt and I used a grinder a bench grinder and tapered the end of it so that it fits snug in there. So I gotta weld something up to hold this nut in place so when I loosen the bolt it opens up and when I tighten it it hopefully seals. We'll see how it goes. Okay it's done. Here's the whole thing. Worked out pretty much the way that I had hoped and Here's where the lead will go. Right now I filled it with water. This is how I did my valve. Basically, this is, this is what comes out of the bottom of where the lead is going to be. And I welded two pieces of steel and a nut. And then this bolt has a tapered end and it plugs the end of the pipe. So when I open it, the water comes out, when I close it the water stops. We'll see how it works with lead, um, from the looks of how the water is coming out, the lead might be coming out kind of messy, we'll just have to try it and see. So to finish up, 
This is where the lead goes in the top. This is where the lead comes out down at the bottom. Chimney pipe. And this is where I'll build a fire in there. I have the other half of the or the end of the air compressor tank that I cut off. So I figured potentially it could sit up there to help help hold heat in. And maybe I could put wheel weights in here to pre-warm them or um, dry dry them out, make sure they're dry, whatever needs to be done. Here we are doing a test run with water. Water down inside there. Got a fire going. Just started it. 